The other day, Zoe and I were doing press. We went on The View together and we showed up both wearing almost identical <laughs> from like head to toe. I almost wore the same lip shade as her. Oh black God. turtleneck, black thing, trousers, an identical belt. But because of the sort of structure of the view, there was no point at which I could reference the fact that we were wearing the same outfits. We were sitting next to each other looking insane. I wanted to say, we know. We we called each other we this morning and planned our yeah, outfits. Like yeah. this was, we are aware, but there was no moment to do that. So we just looked crazy. <laughs> So hi. hi. Hi, mate. How are you doing, doll? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Last time I saw you was on set. I know. In London. I know. Very exciting. Yes. Yeah. And you'd, you'd finished this movie before then, though. Yeah, we did this in 2021. 20, Actually, on Maestro, which I just finished. Yeah. How was that, by the way? It was amazing. It's exciting. You worked with, who was I talking to? I was talking to Steve Morrow, the sound guy. Yeah. And he was like, I worked on Babylon. It's incredible. It's mad. And then I got to see it. it what do you think? <laughs> it's so crazy. It's I so insane. I mean, it's it's wild. It's yeah. really, really wild. When I read the script, I was like, this is La Dolce Vita and Wolf of Wall Street had a baby and I love it. Yeah. But I was like, are, that, are we allowed to show that? Are we allowed to show that? I mean, there yeah. were so many scenes where I was like, A, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. And, and B, are we going to get away <laughs> Did it this. read like, is, how close is the finished film to what it read like when you first read the script? Pretty close. It is. You know, he's not like finding it in the edit. Yeah. He has like a vision. and He's got it in his mind. Yeah. And he's also, because he's so musically gifted, I think like even the rhythm of it felt evident yeah. on the page and then totally translated. The music in. is so amazing. Oh, the music is so good. I got in the car I watched it with my mum and she was. <laughs> oh God, what'd she think? <laughs> It's a fun one to see with your mum. Yeah. Everyone should see Babylon with their parents. It won't be awkward at all. I sent my my mum years ago um, with my now husband, but boyfriend of like probably two months to go and see Shame together. No, God. <laughs> oh, God. It was, that's um, that's yeah, a nice breaker. But no, she loved it. She really loved it. And she sat in the car and she immediately started just doing the little, um, the theme, the tune of no you way. and Diego and your oh. It's just so beautiful. That the music, I've heard it like one billion times because it's that one of the, it was one of those rare opportunities where you had the, we had the music before, oh, you know, while amazing. we would, yeah, yeah, to rehearse with. Yeah. We've heard those tunes a thousand times over and I still love them. Like they're, they're so still lovely. like, I know, it was really, really nice. Yeah. Justin Hurwitz has worked with Damien. And he lot. did La La Land. Well. Yeah. I think he's done all of Damien's things. There's an so. amazing remix of um, the La La Land, like main theme. Yeah. That has this. My children listen to it, and it has this little voice over the top going, "That's just my baby dog." That's just, but it's over the like la la thing, and I can't wait to see what the Babylon remixes are. Um, People are so clever these days. I Every know. time I see like memes or like little any of those yeah. little mini internet sensations, I'm yeah. like, genius. Um, so the whole whole first thing, the whole first sequence, which is a giant party. Yeah, oh my god. With an elephant, <laughs> first of all. Was the elephant real? How much of the elephant was real? Do you know? Don't ruin cinema for me. I, I, the elephant wasn't real. The elephant wasn't real at all. I know, which is so Ever? convincing. There was actually so many animals on this set, so many animals every day. But funnily enough, I feel like there are more regulations around what you can do with animals than what you can do with humans. Because, yeah. uh, you know, our background artists, our extras, on the mm -hmm. other hand, were the most uninhibited human beings you've ever um, So who were they all? So, the, so just to, <laughs> it's amazing. to explain. The, the whole f opening sequence is this enormously debauched, crazy, crazy party, wild party. And there's lots of people wearing a lot of nudity, very little and nothing. It's pretty much a party slash orgy. Like it's, it kind of turns into an it's orgy. It's a porgy. It's a porgy. <laughs> One might say. Yeah. Um, a drug fueled porgy. So who were all 